you want to learn how to make an edit like this, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to be making an um, icon today. And this icon is actually going to be for me this time. So let's see if this is going to work. I'm just using that for the white base. And as soon as I hit that, I'm going to crop it again. And then I have my perfect size right here. And right now I'm going to go for like a kind of reddish tone to have all these like reddish colors. So basically what you're going to be doing is just blending out the edges and fixing where you want to put these pictures. And so I'm just going to fix up that. And this looks very messy, so what you're going to do is just feather out the edges. And then you're going to want to stretch it out. I'm going to show you two more times, and then I'm going to do it by myself, and then I'll come back when it's done. So one more time, I'm just going to adjust it how you like it. I want this one on top of that one. So I'm just going to stretch that out a little bit and block it up. And, and then I'm just going to finish off editing this and then I'll come back to show you the final product for the feathering out. Okay, so I got everything situated to just this big white spot. And what I'm going to do is put my main picture in there. And I'm going to use this one. And I just want this part, so what I'm going to do is just kind of like erase the rest. So I'm just going to leave that in the middle, and then I'm going to save this. Okay, so I'm saving this to my gallery. And then now it's time to make the IO screen. So this is going to do for my IO screen. So then you're just going to go to food crop, and then you're going to crop what you want with the red. But I'm going to do this off camera because I know this is going to take forever. So, yeah. I'll come back when I'm done cropping it. Okay, so this is the final cropping of it. It's kind of messed up right here because I had, like, his Snapchat name right there. So I'm just going to press back. Oh no, but when you first hit it, you want to make sure that you get the clip, hit the clip art button. That way, did you see the clip art button right there? You're going to want to hit that, but then it saves to your clip art. And then you're going to go to Pixar, get the thing that we made before, clip art. You see I have it saved right there. 
but I don't want the top half to show, so I'm going to kind of stretch it out. And so I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to put the shape mask so I know what I'm working with. I'm going to want to stretch it out as far as possible. See, so you can still see the background in here. And then you're going to go to add photo. Okay, so I don't want to do, uh, I added like this green texture for that. Then you're going to go into draw. And then you're going to choose your color. I'm choosing pink. Oh no, I'm going to go for like a dark red. And just like draw. I know some people like using stencils, but I don't like using stencils. I feel like this gives it more like a personal touch, you know? Because like no one's heart can be exactly like yours. I don't know, that's how I think. Okay, so I'm done with that, so I'm just going to press the check mark. I'm going to save this photo. And then I'm going to go to Fonto. And then I'm going to load a new image from the device. Click on that. And then you're going to go. I'm just going to put my username. I don't know if I want to put that font. I'm just gonna use this one. And then, you probably saw before my other one, I have this color pattern that's red and black. So I'm just gonna go on that one. And then for stroke, like I said before, it looks better when you put white on a darker color and on a dark color and then black on lighter colors, so like it pops out. No, but that's the finished product. Let me go into my camera wall so you can see it. It's the final product. I made this one yesterday. Leave a comment if you want to try to make one like this. I made this for my other account. But yeah, I guess I'm done. Bye. Like, subscribe, Um, tell me what kind of edits you want to learn how to do in the comments. And if you didn't like this video, please tell me why in the comments. And if you didn't, tell me wh why you did in the comments.